Elon want to buy Twitter. Oh, Elon, you want to buy Twitter? You want to tweet? <laughs> Love the Agua Thai. Bad. So she said the uh, 1828 Noah Webster Dictionary is back online. And I'm hearing there's a little bit of some changes, man. You know, something happened. Something happened. Y'all ain't slick, man. But we got something, y'all. We got something back up. So, you know, uh, they call it a success for Nagaville. But, you know, we looking at y'all funny about this reboot. And we're looking at Eden Line a little funny, too. We're looking at Twitter a little funny. <laughs> Twitter, man. Definition. 1828. Read it, man. I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Elon buys Twitter to make a succession of small, tri tremulous, tremulous, intermittent noises. I mean, hold up, man. What is tremulous, man? I mean, you might as well have some fun with this 1828. Ooh. Trembling. Affected with fear or timidity as a trembling Christian. Oh, oh, oh. ping pow. Ping pow. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Hey, shout out to Drop Nation. All across the plain. Yeah, I was in uh, YouTube jail for a minute. I couldn't post nothing. I, but that kind of, you know, just in learning how to surf the wave, you know, throughout these years, we kind of mastered, you know, the art of surfing the wave. And when things happen, man, you know, you got to take the opportunity. So I fell back, but also fell forward. You know what I mean? I did a lot, but I also didn't do much. I moved fast, but I was also moving slow, you know? Um, you know, catching up on some things, man, but really enjoying the household, man. So <clears throat> I know you're here for some drop, but mainly, man, we're just surfing the wave. You might be here for the information, but really it's just a vibe, man. It's just a vibration, but it's not tremulous. You know, it's not about the fear over here in drop nation. Because we've been patiently waiting. We we popping off. So, interesting that this Twitter, you know, uh, has a lot to do with this tremulous, trembling, <laughs> shaking, shivering, quivering. Yeah, man. Okay. Tremulous motion of the hand or the lips. Okay. Your twittering lips, huh? So, to make a small... Or a succession of small, tremulous, intermittent noises as the swallow twitters to make the sound of a half suppressed laugh. So we just talking tweets, man. And, um, you know, I guess the fear spell does run Twitter. You know, you, you don't have no freedom of speech. I just got out of YouTube jail. Because they decided to go back seven, eight months to find something that was against some type of policy. So they found me talking about the tenderoni. And they said, that's against our medical misinformation. Well, what's that? Anything that disagrees with our experts about medicine. And I said, I thought you guys disagree with each other all the time. I thought you debating on CNN. On the Hannity show, even your medical experts don't agree with each other. So how can this determine if it's misinformation? And who are your experts? Who are your experts, man? All right, man, but yeah, you know, I, I don't want to get into Twittering. You know, I don't want to get into some half-suppressed laughs around here, man. But, uh, you know. I don't know my knocker, you know what I mean? It's the, it's a perfect time to be popping off, you know, with Drop Nation, you know, 432 to drop. And just know that very soon, 
the majority of our content will be coming right out of our website. Love to my IT Nagas working hard behind the scenes. They've been working for a minute. And uh, it's just really about us building our own platform that they can't really, you know what I'm saying, you know, jam up too, too clean and too easy. You know, if they're going to do it, make them work for it. So we're building a lot of security into, uh, you know, what's coming out of 432, the drop.com. But we just really appreciate all the contributors, man, all the sponsors, Copper Dragon, Silver Dragon, Gold, the entire Eat the Squad that just finished the fourth wave, the fourth season at 432 to drop radio and uh you can always just you know surf the wave with a knock man you know get up in a drop shot surf the wave with a knock you know you can click on oh man Irvin reed templars popping off you know anytime and night and it's happening right here man. so um, where were we <laughs> where were we templar popping off so <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. Just on no guy. Yeah. On the banks of the Mississippi River. We here for the vibration. On the exact location, whether it was, uh, whether it was what is now Lake Village, Arkansas, or Faraday, Louisiana. Okay. Uh, oh God. And then on the side note here, they said that uh, yeah. October twenty seventh, approximately in fourteen ninety five, is when he. Yeah, ma. What they do? Oh. Yeah. Hernando de Soto was born. Let's get it. Extreme Madura. Madura. Extreme Madura. Wow. Spain. Uh, parents were both. Hidalgos, H I D A L G O S, <laughs> nobility of modern, modest means. Let's look that up. Oh, Templar is popping. Oh, can't you tell? Hey, love to the Templar referee. Bonafide, true to life wave surfer. Day number one. True, you know, true AI for my bro. True contributor. Eat the squad up. Make sure you. Or, you know, digging on his channel, Irvin Reed, on YouTube. And the bro uh, was uh, featured on the Reconstruction Pack, man. And can we give some special A-Hop to the cause, Yosef, the real Nine Spiral, and the rest of Tribal Month. Hey, man, we popping off. Like I said, we just finished the fourth season. <clears throat> Shalak, uh, the Eat the Squad. You know, I've been popping off, man. I've been, I've been popping off just to get to this checkpoint. And, uh, you know what I mean? Just to get there with my tribe, tribe. Man, I mean, the fourth wave was about a year and a half, my Naga. So just imagine that fourth season with the Ether Squad lasted about a year and a half. Man, shout out Yosef the Real, you know. Nine Spiral, Five Eyes, Ma, Type Heads On, Natural, Bye. Law, I'm talking all the Ether Squad, man. It's just been keeping it going. Chef Condi, and shout out CJ Battle, Brother Nature, all the Battle family, man. This is Ether Squad up, you know. Shout out KB, the Hijack and Cezanne, and Con Fresh. Can you dig it? Hey, shout out. My sister said I didn't get a formal welcome yet to the Ether Squad. Shout out the newest member of the Ether Squad. My sister, Copper Color Creations, man. Shout out to Copper Land, Nagaville up, Naga Hill. Let's go, man. All my sisters, Aqua Valenda, what it do? Tribe up, let's get it, man. I mean, I see my tribe building land, putting their Nagaville flags up. You know how good that feels, my Naga? <sighs> to see the Nagaville flag going up in Nagaville? Oh, my Naga. Oh, my Naga. I'm talking the, the Nagaville flag. Love to Dragon Child. Hey, hi, my, my bread, Dracon Child, for designing this Yapa flag, man. Whew. Super heavyweight. Five Eyes, my style. Blue, purple, red, white linen, gold thread. 
We're talking about the garments, the tent of meeting, the priesthood. Yeah, Exodus 26, go dig on it. These are our colors. You put the blue and the red together, you get the crown, right? Con. You get the covenant. Hawa, you know, made with the entire earth. With the Nagas of Nagaville. I ain't gonna flood this place no more. You can always remember me. But that dragon fire? <laughs> well, that's all happening right now. Hey, dragon child. This is amazing, man. And the Nagas is protected. Con, con. But, you know, first off, we protected by the code. X marks the spot. We got that towel, that covenant. Con, con. So, <clears throat> everything we dropping is is for this goal, my Naga. To build Nagaville in coal for protection. To have our shield, our buckler, our armor, which is the coal. To get the crown flow. Because this is who you are. You are the royals. You Hawaii seed. You must be royalty. They're looking for the grail. They're looking for the prester. Huh? So to see this flag going up for the first time, I mean, the Aqua beat us to it because we was going to do ours and our next CUV put our flag up. You know what I'm saying? CUV means choose a village and that's when we be tripping up. You know what I mean? You know, we got different lands to tribe up on now, man. I mean, <laughs> shout out to Naga Hill, my Aqua Valinda. She out there in AZ popping off. She got Naga Hill on deck. Holding it up for the Nagas and look out for us, man, because we about to, you know, have a real strong connection right there as well. So it's all happening. It's, you know, so to see this, oh, look, man, you know, you know, anybody that ain't, you know, surfing the wave on the on the Insta, go ahead and, you know, surf the wave over here with us as well. You know what I'm saying? You can always uh, enjoy that MHOE most high over Everything. Most I over underscore everything. Love the Five Eyes Ma. We just started this one. <laughs> five Eyes Ma. He's breaking down in bandanas with the nine flow. This nine design is amazing. And, you know, we put the color one up on the 432. And the bro took, you know, very care, like so much care into this beautiful design. And you're going to love it on the bandanas. It's all about the MHOE. So it's a brand new page we just put up we drop in you know the the brand new concepts for the cons of the mh over everything most however everything you know what i mean so please uh, enjoy the beautiful designs the summertime fly summertime fresh tribe tribe fresh Ooh, <laughs> tribe tribe that's popping off with mhoe i'm just letting you know what's happening mhaa is popping off most high above all so, you know, it's all together and we popping off, man. <clears throat> most high over everything, most high above all. We got the Presta, we got the Queen. She's popping off, man. We, you know, we just making sure they remember us. We just making sure they remember. So, love the Five Eyes, man. He's popping off, man. Our designer at MHOE, owner of MHOE. And just, you know, true to life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, ether, ether walker, you know what I'm saying? Ma is the true to life ether walker, man. Founder of MHOE popping off. And what were we just saying? Oh, we was talking about that Nagaville flag. And then I'm going to get back to the reconstruction pack. And you're going to see how it ties into the drop of the day. <sighs> yeah, Moors from Mars, man. Lands of Mars. We're going to talk specifically about Uranus because, you know, Elon's talking about Uranus. So we go right there and love to Nas confounding because, man, you know, people say, hey, well, how can you confirm that this is these maps are accurate? Man, how can you confirm this map is accurate? You ain't taking no planes and, 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 and mapping it out yourself. You're just trusting whoever to give you a map of where you live in. And it's not about the accuracy. It's more about us, you know, um, stretching our imagination, man. Stretching our mind bones. 
imagining what this earth plane looks like. He could have just drew this off the top of his head. But at least it gives us an imagination as to what it could be. And that's called surfing the wave, man. Getting the babies out the bath water. My Naga, I said, did y'all see Naga Hill? Did y'all see Naga Ville? Hey, this is Copperland raising the flag. Man, it gets no realer than this, man. When you see this flag going up, <laughs> you know you in a Naga friendly land. You know we KT seeing it up. You know what I mean? You know we protected by Hawa. You know what I'm saying? And that's all a Naga need to know when you you know what I'm saying? When you uh are reaching a destination, you know what I'm saying? I'm um, looking for your next checkpoint. You know, this Nagaville flag is supposed to represent that checkpoint. Blue, purple, red, white, linen, gold thread. <laughs> Exodus 26. Got a Naga in code. Yeah, man. We just doing it for Nagaville. And I'm just so proud of my aqua. You know what I'm saying? For taking this amazing checkpoint here <laughs> to rep the Nagaville flag. Love to drag and chat my bro DC, man. Look at this, man. Kalahua. For Nagaville. So my Naga, you know what I mean? We we blowing in the wind. You know what I'm saying? Don't mind us, we blowing in the wind. <laughs> but we're firm, fixed, and immovable. And you know, if you got your land popping off for Hawaii in cold, Exodus 20 got you in cold. <clears throat> you popping off with your tribe. You know what I'm saying? You need you a Nagaville flag. You know, it's all it's all y'all pop. You know what I'm saying? And um you know, to put this flag up, you know what I'm saying? And on your land, you know what I'm saying? It's a true honor. You know what I mean? It means you in gold. So it means Anagaville's back. Anaga's, Anaga's back and Anagaville's back. It means Anaga is remembering. So this is your pa. I love to my sister, Copper Color Creations, and the entire Copper family. We see y'all out there raising a the flag. We see you out there raising a the flag. Copper family. We see you. Alahua for Nagavi. Hey, hey, how dragon child, man. Look at us. Hey, look at us now, Dracon child. Look at us now. The flag's going up. <laughs> So yeah, man. Man, you know what this means, my knocker. We popping off, man. Allah Shalom. You know what this means, my knocker. <laughs> we are popping off, man. So Again, man, hey, out to the tribe, tribe. You putting your flag up, you know what I'm saying, wherever you set up, you know what I mean? And this was never about us, you know, trying to, you know, invite the world to one place and say, hey, we're on this land. You want to be down with us? You need to be on this land. Nah, we, we over here inspiring you to do the same thing, man, and give you a blueprint. So when Nagas can do this, they say, yo, we can tribe up, put a couple racks together, you know what I'm saying? Buy a piece of land, and we in there. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, now you've, you know, done a great service to Nagaville, man, and set up shop because, you know, Naga's going to need different places. You know what I'm saying? Safe cities. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's the vision, man. And, you know, can't go wrong with buying land, man. It's a great investment anyway. So, either way, buy some land, tribe up, and do it for the creator and go for Hawaii. Nagaville, Copperland, 
it's popping off. <laughs> Hello, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go, Five Eyes Ma. Look at them beautiful uh, M-H-O-E bandanas popping off. That's that nine ether flow. That's that spiral flow. Like I said, the bro took his time, made an intricate design. So, you know what I mean? You know, we're going to give you the link soon. You know, the store is getting created. The brand new MHOE.store is under construction now. It's going to be up soon. So, you can surf the wave right there at MHOE.store. But for now, hit at the IG, most high over underscore everything. Five eyes, ma. We popping off. Because there ain't no cap <laughs> on my number two pencil, man. And I mean it, man. Hey, we just popping off, man. Let go. Oh, oh, oh. The easy button press that simple. Yeah. No cap on my number two pencil. Yeah. Hit the easy button press that simple. No cap on my number two service go get the drop man right now we on this drop aqua tie twitter <laughs> half suppressed laughs and what's elon buying over there man and what you buying over here hey how my knock is for surfing wave in the drop shop uh all your support on cash app is truly appreciated all the dragon sponsors and right now like i'm saying man the reconstruction pack is finally Popping off, available now for pre-orders. May 28th is going to be dropping, so get, you know, be first on the list. Get the first packs and look at them, man. Yo, Seth, we popping off, man. Nice spiral, we popping off, man. So get your, uh, you know, stylistic cassette flash drive. It's going to be packed with all, I think it's 24 tracks that were hand-selected out of many <laughs> To get on that reconstruction. Everybody's trying to make the cut. Everybody's trying to make the cut to get on the reconstruction pack. You know, I'm grateful to have, uh, you know, surfed away with this beautiful uh, project here uh, with a couple slaps. Uh, Five Eyes Ma, uh, Huey Groovy, man, CJ Battle, Natural by Law, Templar from Reed, man. Man, I mean, Con Fresh, you know what I'm saying? Dizzle Fitty, J Law. That's a lot of cons, man, on on this uh, cassette right here, man. We're taking it back to the true school. <clears throat> so, you know, I've been shouting. I've been shouting all night, man. But, yo, Five Eyes Ma, everybody, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Five Eyes Ma, man, deserves so much AI because he really popped his tribe of music off. And look at where we're at right now, man. The reconstruction, man. The reconstruction, man. So, yo, Seth, the real... <sighs> True battle tested warrior for the cold warrior for a while. Nice spiral. You already know he's cooking up something all the time, man. Tribal mafia, tribal mafia making tribe up music. So, cons is available now. Get your pre order in. It's going to be dropping May 28th. And just, you know, a hop to you. Get the drop. You can get multiple drops. Get your deals and pop off for the reconstruction pack. And of course, man, Five Eyes Ma, that Ma Pack, everybody going cray cray over over 60 tracks popping off from Five Eyes Ma. And this is how we are, you know, revolutionizing music, man. These musicians, these artists are coming with top level production. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the producers involved. And they kicking tribe up music to make you 
truly feel that tribe, tribe, truly feel the frequency of Hawa, the frequency, you know what I'm saying, of the elements, man, the Drakan flow, you know, it's all happening. So, you know, Ma got 60 something tracks, uh, you know what I'm saying? This reconstruction got 24 tracks, but it also is going to include some of the hottest radio shows on 432thedrop.com. 432 to Drop Radio with Nine Spirals radio shows, Yosef the Real radio shows, some great links. I think the bro's going to include some great detox information. So all that detoxing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they got it down to a supreme science. Oh, man, I can't wait, man. So it's going to have all this drop, man, links, videos, you know, as well as the music. So get the drop, only $32, $4 shipping. And it's 36 total to get on the pre-order for your reconstruction pack. Get the drive, get the music, get the videos, get the links, get the five eyes, my flow. And available now, my naga, the Presta Pack 2 is popping off. Also dropping on the same day. So we busy around here. We dropping packs at 432 to drop radio. Get your Presta Pack 2 pre-order. Available now as well. Also 32 plus four dollars shipping and handling. So, hey, have fun, support all these different ways, all the ways that you feel good supporting. We always appreciate that. And all my Nagas, you know, has been supporting the shirts, you know, the packs, the super bundles. My Nagas been coming up, man, doing your thing. It's most time over everything. You support MHOE, you did. And definitely the family that's continuing to get the water flowing for Joy World, my anonymous Nagas. Zion Train, Anthony Largy, all my cons. <sighs> Don't give up on us. We got a long way to go. So please be, you know, uh, a steady con, you know what I'm saying? A constant con and continue to contribute to help us build a fence on our land for Joy World. And it's all happening. It's all happening, man. You could always reach it, you know, on the pages, you know, in the footnotes. We always uh, keep the the main links right here. So whether you're doing the cash app, the PayPal support, or you are supporting to help us build a fence. So like I said, man, this is a vibration. It's always a vibe. And, uh, you know, we got a fence building team, you know, getting assembled right now and, you know, popping off. So please support Joy World. Help, help us get some more of that <laughs> expensive lumber, timber, and all that stuff, man. All right. So, you know, look, bottom line, we're being reconstructed. You know, we MHOE. This is what you've seen. We're being reconstructed. You've seen this since we was off the balcony. We hitting this fifth wave real strong. Brand new season dropping June 4th, uh, 2022. You know, so a little over a month or so, you know, we got a brand new season of TDR dropping. And, you know, this is all to build up our framework, man, to build our land, you know what I'm saying, and to continue to build for a while. Every uh, 20 Presters. It's going to be a new press to pack. So just look out for it, pre-order it, my pack, and, of course, get your reconstruction pack with Yosef the Real and the Bro Nine Spiral featuring Tribal Mafia, man. All happening right now for pre-order. And pop off with a night. You know what I'm saying? Support Nagas and let us know that, you know, this flows, this works, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my bro DeVoe, look to my bro DeVoe. He said, yeah, man, I got my mob pack. I put it in the car, my USB, you know, for the more modern cars, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if not, then you do the, you know, MP3. You got all the MP3s on them. You can download them and put them on whatever device you need. But you can just plug this baby right into the car and get your music, your files, whatever your car is able to <laughs> pop off with. But it's very convenient. And it works for us as a medium to get the music out, but not just that, but to maintain the integrity of the 432 hertz frequency tuning that we do. You know what I'm saying? I do it personally, my naga, to make sure it's A1 like the sauce, you know what I'm saying? So we got that pure crystallized vibration, 432 hertz, and we keep it, you know, any other medium, we can't tell if they're going to switch the frequency a little bit, but at least here, we can put it on the flash drives and know that we put it on there. Ain't nobody changing it because we do it ourselves and we ship it out ourselves. So it helps us maintain the integrity of the 432 hertz frequency with the music, man. So 
A lot's going into these packs. Plus, you can load them up with goodies like books, links, videos. So we think we revolutionizing the, you know, music uh, delivery flow. You know what I'm saying? How we delivering our music, our flow, our content, how we keeping our content. Another Naga said, y'all don't even know, but with all these press the packs and all these all this music, y'all are creating, you know what I'm saying, like time capsules. You know what I'm saying? That Nagas in the future are going to be like, whoa, <laughs> you want to know about what's happening with these Nagas in 2022? You're going to need to get that mob pack. You're going to need to get that press the pack. You know, you're going to need to be packed up. And it makes us, you know, a lot of times we say we want to save stuff. But here, you know, we already got it saved straight up like that. So you already got these packs. You can store them away. You can save them away. You know what I'm saying? Rock them. Do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? So be creative, my naga. But just get your reconstruction pack popping off. So I'm just so proud of my nagas. All the hard work y'all been doing. All the hard work y'all putting in. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Pretty soon all the nagas going to be rocking their packs, getting their music, and getting their info out too. It's about the music, but it's also about the information. And it's definitely about the 4 through charts vibration. Why is Elon buying Twitter? Let's get it, man. Y'all ready to pop off? <laughs> we still in some tie battle links right here. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's start right here, man. Why is Elon buying Twitter? <laughs> I, I guess that's the $64 million question. I guess that's a good place to start. Come on, man. See, they they see us popping off with our packs, <laughs> and then they start advertising uh, to what we're popping off with. But yeah, yeah, okay. Elon Musk, SpaceX could probe Uranus <laughs> on NASA's flagship mission. Oh, they 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 just trying to be funny, y'all. You know it. They trying to be funny about probing Uranus, man. All right, we we see it. Ha ha ha. The joke's on you. Now, you know, this is their picture of Uranus. All right. Hold up, man. I know it's distracting. Let me try that. There we go. All right. So this is the best they're going to really do. Other than that, they're going to say, oh, this is a telescope picture, a telescope picture. It's going to be some little dot, something you can't make out. It's not, it's not going to look nothing like this. <clears throat> this is artistic, right? here. This is a painting. This is a portrait, right? Could SpaceX be heading to Uranus next? The National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine seem to think it should. The organization has released its latest decadal survey of planetary science and astrobiology, according to a report by Teslarati published on Wednesday. The survey hints that NASA should undertake a flagship mission to Uranus on SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket. Uranus. Okay. Uranus Orbiter and Probe. The mission is not entirely new, called the Uranus Orbiter and Probe, UOP. The proposal has been under work for several years by a team that includes scientists from NASA, the University of California, and John Hopkins University. <clears throat> now you might remember that um, William Christensen, a hundred, a hundred proofs the Earth is not a globe, or something like that. Uh, it was something <laughs> dropped on John Hopkins' head, bone, showing proofs. You know that their science was wrong. So, you know, shout out to William Christensen. This is now with SpaceX's Falcon Falcon Heavy rocket. The researchers feel that they have the technology to make their long-held dream a reality. The survey's authors don't come out and straight up say that, but they do mention that a Uranus mission is favored because an end-to-end -end mission concept exists that can be implemented in the 2023-2032 decade on currently available launch vehicles. This leaves a choice between Falcon Heavy United Launches Alliance, ULA, Volcan, Centaur, 
Blue Origin's new blend and NASA's space launch system. Now, you know, some of my wave surfers remember us dropping this NASA drop. You know, some secret drop. <laughs> You know, showing that most of their uh, aircrafts are made for a flat, linear uh, Earth. You know, that there's paperwork showing that, you know, these uh, particular craft are particularly constructed for a flat, linear Earth. You know, it's very interesting, man. Very interesting. Now, all these, you know, Vulcans and Vulcans... Falcons and Vulcans and Centaurs, you think they're just going straight up into outer space, man? Or are they the craft they're using to go straight past Antarctica, over the barrier, across the wall, to more worlds, more lands beyond the pole, more lands beyond the barrier? Finally, NASA's Europa Clipper Orbiter showed that for SLS to take on any Uranus-level missions, it would require that the ship undergo significant production improvements because they want to go fast to Uranus. They want to go fast to Uranus. If all goes well, Falcon, Falcon Heavy and the mission goes forward. The UOP mission to Uranus could offer the most in-depth information ever gathered on what is basically a rather unexplored plane. Remember, planet comes from plane, which means flat, spread out. The only spacecraft to have visited Uranus, NASA's Voyager 2, only made a flyby in 1986, gathering very little viable information. Flyby. Flyby, my noggin. I mean, you, you, you got to start seeing this clearly now. Fly by. They're just flying by, man. Not in outer space. And if you're just talking space, you're just talking, you know, uh, like more space. You know, like open space. Like a ship, like a boat in open space would be outer space. Space, ship. Ship, boat, space, open space, outer space. You just need a boat to go over this water, or you could take a craft that flies and make flybys. Okay. So, pet, peep the spot, because <laughs> we're just talking Uranus. I can't make this stuff up. I can't make this stuff up. Elon Musk. Why you on Twitter? I mean, it's all about the half-suppressed laugh. The joke's on us, huh? You going to Uranus, man? Huh? You going to a planet? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go right to it. Great drop. Love to the bro DeVoe who dropped this drop. And the cop thread, my knock, I appreciate you. He also emailed me this drop, man, and I appreciate that. We're going to get some of the I'm just going to go right to it right quick. I'm just going to go right to it right quick. Because, you know, we're just talking lands beyond the pole, right? So if you want to talk Uranus, let's talk. Uranians. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> this is uh some recon, you know. Love to uh, Nas confound him. He's doing some drop. We're just here to get the babies out the bath water, you know. Don't mind us. Shout, you know. Shout out to Nas confound you know, for real. So I've never read this, you know, and getting the babies out the bath water, but. We are just talking Uranus. You know. And let's, you know, I'm just, I'm just peeping Uranus, man. I mean, you know, when you 
check out uh, the, the IG of Nas Confund. And I've been sharing some of his latest, you know, drop. You know, bro always shows appreciation. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful, man. It's good. It's good. It's good to work together, especially when we're talking flat drop. Because you really need a team of reconners to, you know, understand what's popping, you know, with these ice walls. Like, you got to understand that when you talk Antarctica, you're not just talking a continent because it's the only landmass that's raised up like this, right? You don't have to climb up to get to Africa, climb up to get to Australia or Europe or America. <clears throat> nah. Antarctica, you do. So that lets you know one thing and one thing only. It's not a continent like you're thinking. It's a barrier to keep the water in. When they say the earth is flat, how can the water don't spill off? Because there's barriers, my nigga. And it's a plane. It's a flat plane. But how far does it go? You know? I mean, how many of these pockets, these geothermic pockets that have their own suns, you know, the sun melts this ice in these rings and, you know, they're not going off of our sun 96 million miles away, my not. <laughs> okay, they're going off of their suns that are a few thousand miles away, just like our real sun is only a few thousand miles away. I mean, great work, right? Great work, great work. You can see a little bit of these maps. I'm going to actually pull up a video that shows it in more detail. So don't trip on the detail. I'll pull it up and you'll see more detail in these. But you can see pretty much. And uh, shout out to Matt Powerland. I mean, you know, I've been surfing this flat drop for a minute. A lot of reconners. Um, uh, and I know this is one off the top of my head, but I can't think of the name. But y'all know what I'm talking about with the, uh, they got like an egg. Egg, cosmic egg type of flow, but you know what I'm talking about. Shout out to you. I think it's Martin something. Sanitary, Sanitary, something like that. But shout out to you. You know, we're a team of Reed Connors. We've been working together for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Low key, high key. I don't just talk one thing because I have to. For me to talk flat drop, you got to understand the press to drop. You know, you got to understand the code, first of all. We got to talk code keeper series. Look out for part four. Of the code keeper series you know we got to talk you know what i'm saying the indigenous truth so you know that we're talking nagas and all these lands are still nagaville even jupiter they hijacking it don't give it to them they're hijacking it. just like atlantis hijacking earth right they're hijacking everywhere so just because this hijacks there don't mean that it's theirs you know what i'm saying all this is Nagaville, man. I can't give them. Look, they took everything from me. They took everything from us, from you. So you got to take everything back. <laughs> I'd rather err on the side of taking everything back than to just say, I'll take this little circle right here. This is Nagaville. Hell no. Nah. Y'all done took everything from the Naga. All this is Nagaville. All of it is Nagaville, man. Just so you know. So it's a lot of great depictions on his IG. Go check it out. You know what I mean? And they say, how did you get such detailed information? I mean, you know, you're going to have to, you know, do the recon. <laughs> do the recon. I mean, you know, he's going to give you what you need. You're going to have to further it and do it yourself. Um, but again, if anything else, it gives you an imagination, a wave to serve outside of their NASA bullcrap, man. Baloney. Get off that Bay Isle. You, you ain't on no spinning ball. They want you to think you're on one of these things, right? Planets. Are you on a planet, man? What's a planet? Say it with me. <laughs> Etymology. Let's go to etymology, man. Seraph, burning ones, Drakkar, Kuhn. Cool. Hey, planet, man. What's a planet? You know, we're just talking etymology, man. Right, right, right. Pele flat. <laughs> so what what about this is flat to you? That you would call it a planet? 
You see what I'm saying? You see what we saying? This is malarkey, man. You can't even teach your children this stuff. You can't even call it planet when the root word is plain. But not good. And if the root word is plain, then you have to be talking flat. You have to be talking flat. This ain't no conspiracy theory. We're just talking about you going straight, getting out the ice wall. He got a great pick of one of these cracks in the ice wall that looks, you know, like one of them cracks. Look at that. You know what I mean? Wish I could get this bigger. But, yeah, you know, you see all kinds of terror, Tara, all kinds of land. We're just in one of these. So so all these will be balls. These will be a bunch of balls, right? Science will have us thinking that these are a bunch of balls, right? Bunch of balls. And to get to these balls, you need to be an astronaut or to take a million-dollar space trip, right? To get to one of these balls, right? In outer space. Or we're we just talking outer space. <laughs> More land beyond the poles. Yeah, I mean, look, man. Look, man. Jupiter. Right, we thinking that Jupiter is a ball, right? A big gaseous ball with the dot, with the big red dot, right? Gaseous ball with the big red dot. Science says that that dot is this vortex, a, a super storm happening in the center vortex of Jupiter, right? Some ancient storm. <laughs> Now, you know, just based on this Nas confounding, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, <laughs> a depiction of what these lands might be. And we didn't seen this before, this eye, this horse, this eye of horse. Managa. This is their depiction, their artistic depiction of the Jupiter eye. You know what I'm saying? Let me see something, man. Come on, man. All right. Jupiter, man. See what I'm saying? Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get a little get a little emotional about this stuff. It's getting ridiculous at this point. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this eyeball, right? So what what these artists do at NASA and wherever else? Yeah. They give you a little truth with a whole lot of lie. You're looking at these telescopes through this concave lens and they're telling you a lie. You're thinking that what you're seeing is true. They're, they're, they're pictures of these things <laughs> are true. We're taught like it's a fact. It must be true. Like Jack City. They want to teach us this like it's a stone cold fact, right? Well, there's a little fact in it. <laughs> and look how these facts kind of add up according to this Nas confounding drop. So, focus on the dot. Let's get back over here. Bang, right? Whatever's in the center of that land mass, you know, might be some storm. Who knows, man? But it's the land of Zeus. Thunder and lightning Zeus, right? Because these are the lands of Jupiter. So the center will be specifically called the lands of Zeus. You know, hey, it could be something. It could be nothing. Let's just surf the wave with Nas confounding. Right. Normally we dig on Anatoly for the Manco. You know what I'm saying? We dig on Eric Dubé. We dig on uh, 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 Mark Sargent. You know, we dig on everybody's flat drop, man. William Christensen. Uh, what's my other guy? Uh, Abizai, John Abizai. We, You know, we dig on the reconners around here. 
and we talk flat drop one on one. So why not dig on Nas, man? <laughs> All right. Now check out one of these uh, moons, or my bad, uh, lands. <laughs> Europa, obviously, you already know. This is also a moon. I mean, right? My, my, my tripping, Jupiter, moon, Europa. Is, is this the moon of Jupiter? Yeah. Right. So what it appears, my noggin, what it could be something, it could be nothing. What it appears is that on the flat plane, <laughs> the surrounding land masses, you know, or islands or continents could also be seen as moons. In science, they will call these moons like Europa. <laughs> but they're just more lands. Now, our moon is not more land. Our moon is plasma. That's the actual moon, right? But what they're calling Jupiter and, and Jupiter's moons? I mean, look. We're just seeing light sources that are possibly reflecting off the firmament, the crystal firmament, the barrier. So, you know, we, we've been surfing the wave, and the moon being a map and all kind of things, right? So, you know, map of more land. We don't know about this satellite, you know what I'm saying? Is this an artificial satellite? Is it? Is it this? Is it that? But this stuff ain't no satellites. These are just more worlds or more land. But let's keep going, man. Let's keep going. Where's that crack in the ice? You know, the ice wall is pretty amazing. Hmm. Pretty amazing. How do you get through it? Like I said, the bro. Nas is stretching our imagination. It's bringing us right here. Because there's roadways up out of here, man. Wow. <laughs> How do you get through the wall? You got to find the openings. I think that was a big part of them trying to get to this promised land. They had to find the openings in the wall. The vortexes that are being protected by the Prestacons. Antarctica ain't no continent. It's a barrier that separates you from other worlds. And they got their own barriers, man. They got their own barriers, man. But you see that there are cracks in the ice. So when he's making these depictions... He ain't just making it up off the top of his head, ball. He's using what he know. Now, the rest of it, hey, it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, only we can confirm or deny whatever. You know what I'm saying? But for us, it at least gets us out of this ball, off this ball, and imagining what the world is like beyond the ball. Because they've been cutting through the ice, <laughs> visiting more worlds for a long time. They've been getting around it, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, look. We're just talking Mars, man. <laughs> Eridania, Elysium, Ethereum, oh damn, the river or the ocean of Ethereum, man, ain't that like the crypto coin, Ethereum, we're just talking Mars, <laughs> Samaria's popping off, and they got a human colony, oh man, it's a lot happening with Mars, 
They got their own ice wall, apparently. You know, you see the little gateways to get in and out. This will take you right to Argos, into the ocean of Poseidon. And that's probably connecting directly to us from that point. Because they hop right through here to conquer from Mars. But you thought it was a planet. A planet. But a planet is a plane. Flat, spread, spread out. But the semantics are highly problematic according to Beeks, who notes the similarity of meaning to Greek plazine to make devious. So something about this planet, when they put that T on it, is devious, repelling and dissuading from the right path. What's the right path? For you to see clearly that these are worlds beyond a pole. They found you in a new world, right? <laughs> Not all tribes originate in this earth pond, man. Moors from Mars is not play play. Outside of our Antarctica ice wall are the lands they call planets, which derives from the word play, meaning flat or spread out. More worlds exist beyond the poles, barriers, except you don't have to be an astronaut to get to the planets. Just being a sailor with a boat will take you to outer space <laughs> oh man all right because they are dissuading us repelling us they are making devious from the right path a wise path these jupiters and, you know <laughs> mars all this frequency is bewildering a noggin. We're, we, we're being told lies through the telescope. So called because they have a pair of motion, apparently, <laughs> not truly. Unlike the fixed stars originally, including also the moon and sun, but not the earth. So the sun was a planet, the moon was a planet originally. <laughs> Modern science, scientific sense of world that orbits a star from 1630. So that's modern. For that, <laughs> we were just talking about it plain, flat, spread out. Yeah, because we ain't talking about no wanderers. <laughs> Wandering star. Nah, man. We're talking about flat, spread out. That's a planet. So when Elon's talking about probing Uranus, is he probing Uranus? <laughs> or is he probing Uranus, right? This is page 22 of the PDF. Oh, we, we're going to put this in the library. I'm going to actually upload it on 432thedrop.com. But if you want it before that, just email me. Music at 432thedrop.com. The Uranians or Uranites are a pinkish skin. Hmm. And the tonality of their eyes are completely dark, although there are exceptions of completely white eyes that give the appearance of having visual difficulty. But the reality is that their sight is hyper developed, being able to see to great distances and taking advantage of this as a great opportunity to be able to explore other lands. They have not achieved great technological development, nor are they advanced spiritual beings. So like I said, we're getting the babies out the bathwater. Why does Elon want to go? Why does Elon want to probe it? This planet which is really flat, spread out like, you know, like this, you know. <laughs> and they're surrounded, I don't know what this is, you know what I mean? Leviathans, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Some type of water situation, Titanium, Titan, 
Titan in the middle. Titan. A lot of stuff's in the movies, man. You know, I got a movie called Titan or something, man. I mean, we're just talking about Uranus. Yeah. And I don't know how to confirm or deny what these people look like. But they say they're not advanced spiritual beings. Why is Elon trying to go to Uranus? Because they're not advanced spiritual beings, you're just going to roll up on them, <laughs> conquer them hella easy because they don't have too much technology? Should I just come out and say, all right, you think Elon's trying to get over here to conquer like Columbus in there? You know, smile at us. Human race, human race at us. Really, you know, doing a two-sided thing, double-sided coin thing. Maybe Elon, as nice and wonderful as he is for the human race, maybe he's part of the conquering of new Nagas. <laughs> or should I say more Nagas in Nagaville. Yeah, I'm going to show you more about this map. We're seeing pieces of it, but, you know, kind of like Star Trek. You know, boldly go where no man's gone before, to roam around their spaceship, going to hyperspeed, light speed, hyperdrive. But then sometimes, occasionally, they show the little simulation room, and they make them in a boat. And now they're on the USS Enterprise on a boat. And they're showing you that that spaceship is really a boat. And all they're doing is conquering and colonizing. Where no man's gone before. Captain Kirk and them. Colonizing on the water. Not outer space. Not a ball, my lad. Not the ball. But the high water. Now let's go. So they're not too technologically advanced, Okay. They say they're not advanced spiritual beings. They have long winters. For this reason, there are temperatures that become very low during almost the whole year. 42 years in the known lands can be approximately a year and a half distant or difference. Hmm. A year and a half difference. Compared to the first ones, they are long-lived beings, although they are still today under the custodial domain. He talks about this custodian business. That's pretty much your, you know, what they would call Illuminati, you know, your, your unknowns that are tribed up against, you know, all the, the natural ones, you know what I'm saying? So these would just be the hijacks. The custodials are just the hijacks. The Confederacy, Psalms 83. <laughs> and their climate was totally modified, as well as their complete circle environment. All right, so I mean, you know, they're, they're talking about these Uranites. The locals work under great pressure and almost enslaved by the Paris city colonizers. Yeah, so it appears that some Nagas is being colonized the same way they found you in the New World and colonized you. And does Elon have anything to do with this future exploration of colonizing, boldly going to where no hijacks gone before to colonize more planets <laughs> or flat spread out planes? Right. I mean, are, are they doing anything to make devious, repel or dissuade from the right path or bewilder? Yeah. They're doing a lot to bewilder. What has Elon got to do with it? I mean, this, you know, that's just Uranus, you know what I'm saying? That's just Uranus. You got the lands of Jupiter. P 
Pegasus, okay. Okay, the lands of, Ju of Pegasus near Jupiter and Hercules became a great headache for several races for a long time. The beings that were born there were identified by their wings. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boss. <laughs> Which they created basing their technology on exploration, not so much to the weapons they could use for attack and defense, much less to colonize other lands. Nagas with wings? But then he said we're just talking about technology, huh? I mean, you know, <laughs> we're going to take our time with this. You know, I just wanted to, you know, talk Uranus, but, you know, I'm also trying to introduce you to some great investigative work by the Bro Nas Confounding. Here's another, you know, good map here. You see the Mars, Mars, Mars right here, right? <laughs> you got the Abyssal Ocean. Free Island, okay. Infinite Ocean, Lands of Silence, Land of Angels, Aldebaran, Aldebaran. Oh, this is crazy, man. Terrenos, Terrenos, Taurines. They have a great relation to what you know from past stories like the Minotaur. The monsters with the bull's head and human body. Now we're talking sinus of phyla. Oh man, this is getting too good. It's getting too good, man. What else we got? Lands of Saturn, of course. Here goes another Titan. Hyper Hyperion, Geppetto, Dion. Uh, that's not too hard, right, so it's not too far from the Mars. Not too far from Mars, huh? So it's like once you crack through that ice, once you crack the code, once you crack they little code, they hijack code, you get through that ice. You know, I'm not saying everything's close by, but, you know, everything is everything. You know what I'm saying? You keep going, you always going to run into something. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Okay, we got some tall people, 14 meters in height in Saturn. Okay. What else we got, man? Lands of Orion. So, yeah, y'all remember the maps that, you know, we showed you all these different spots. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is the drop. This is where it comes from. But it's way more lands. He's he breaking down the whole land of Osiris outside the land of Orion. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Pleiades. Oh, these were just the singing sisters. These are just the stars, <laughs> or are you just seeing reflections of more land beyond a pole? Electra. Oh man, let's go. We got the land of the clones. <laughs> Star Wars come out with Attack of the Clones, right in your face bone, and right in the middle it says America B. Whoa, Europa B. Grand Tar, whoa, whoa, say it ain't so, so they've been, is this what they doing with our DNA? When we born to get our DNA and they make other versions of us in other places, America B, was that North and South America? So they cloned everything? This is cray cray. This is cray cray. So they only have the Americas in their ice ring. They got to get out their ice ring, which they think is outer space too. <laughs> they think it's just a continent, you know, and to get out of here must be outer space. But right outside the ice ring is Europa B and Grand Tierra de los Des Desertores. More land, right? But they don't even know there's more land. But once they get out, they see it's more land. Then out of there is more land. And then more land. America B. Land of the clones, man. You got reptilian land. Celestial lands. Extra Tara, Tara. More land, more worlds. Celestial land. 
There are many other worlds that are being left out of this book and that soon will also be detailed about them. So many extraterrestrial races that struggle to survive in the system. Extraterrestrial means they're extra terror. Terror means land. More land. There are people that belong to other lands, indigenous cons of other lands. Struggling to survive in a system. Don't that sound like you, my nigga? <laughs> that seem to leave to mere luck the fate of each one, those who survive and those who die. Don't that sound very familiar? It should also be noted that there are also other others, although to a lesser extent, where peace and development reigns, perhaps because the parasitic races hijack city did not see or find anything interesting. So they leave them alone because it's not as much gold and stuff to steal. And, you know, they're like, ah, whatever, y'all just rock. We having too much fun stealing. Papal Bull, Doom Diversus, take their lands, take their movable and immovable goods, steal these nagas. We having too much fun over here. We don't even need Whatever y'all got, perhaps they monitor them from afar, like a moon base, man. <laughs> or simply, their development was subsequent to the visits in their lands and go unnoticed. And, you know, there's a lot of theories about the moon, like it's some satellite, like they're watching through the plasma. Nah, man, they they, they, they right here in our face, bro, man. They, they, they right here hijacking and stealing knives left or right. Navigator's daughter born in Ancestral Republic. Why the official versions do not inform us about these worlds and what is the reason for their visit to our lands? Those questions are somewhat complex to answer quickly, but I would try. There are many continents behind <clears throat> what you know as poles. I would call them barriers or walls. They can be of ice, as in Antarctica, and in certain or several other parts as well as mountains, although there are several types of these barriers, both in your known and outside, your known world and outside. So he's gonna go into, you know, his background. My father's William Morris. I must tell you that he was born in these lands like you. He had the fortune of being able to cross those imposed artificial ice walls created by the same parasites that control them today and managed to find our land. So he's saying that this Antarctica ice wall business is uh, artificial. We just got put in this box, huh? So what's, what's Hawa going to do with all this artificial stuff disappear? All that land might just come back together like one big Pangea, right? <laughs> Naga's got so much land and inheritance, you have no idea how much land Hawaii has created for you. We have no idea how much land Hawaii has created for the Nagas. You think it's just America, man? You got America B, America C. You got so much land and inheritance. That's why you rich, man. You the head and not the tail. Yeah, they got ice walls, Atlantis, Lemuria, Deathland, man. Oh, you want to get to Deathland? Oh, that must be the uh, heaven of uh, the Christian heaven. <laughs> that's Christ. That's Christ's heaven, right? Deathland. They always promise you a heaven. They always promise to take you somewhere after death. They gonna take you to Deathland, man. You better get out that hijack. You don't want to go to death. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, you know, they got all their hijacks. Uh, somebody asked, what's the original names of, you know, again, what's the original name of America? I mean, you know, we we can talk about Tamari. We could talk about Amaru Ka, you know what I'm saying? But what's the original, 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 original? We just don't know. The investigation continues, man. Excellent work, Nas Confundin. Doing his thing, man. Um, it's just so many waves to surf, man. The Anunnaki land, Sea of Horrors, which reminds me a lot of that. Um, 
Land of Jupiter flow, you know what I'm saying? Land of Venus flow. I mean, all these are just more lands. They call them planets. They call them planets. Ooh, you got the land of the Draco. Anything to do with that Draco constellation, man? Hmm. Etamites. Etamites are the inhabited inhabitants of the Draco land northwest of the known lands crossing the lands of Venus. <sighs> Dracos right next to Osiris. Or maybe that's just their own draconian flow, man. We, we don't know, but we don't know. But we know there's, you know, Moors on Mars, you know. <laughs> they tell us Moors, are, they tell us that Moors are from Mars, right? <laughs> so here we go. And you even got the land of Seth nearby. I'm saying, yeah, yeah, gets deep, you got the drop again, you can email me, music at 432thedrop.com, and even before I put it up on the site, I got you, you know, if you really need it, if you really need it, ocean of the death, land of the custodians, oh, this is where they hide now, St. Germain, you got the St. Germain Islands. You got a lot going on here in the land of custodians. The parasitic race. Seems to be exactly what we're dealing with. <laughs> uh, Brother Nas, man. <laughs> we appreciate you, man. Uh, this is beautiful, and it gives us something to ask, you know, about this Uranus, man, you know. When they say they're probing Uranus, are they probing a, a planet? <laughs> Oh, Neptune is popping off, man. Triton, Poseidon, Mayim, okay. Gilgamesh, popping with Neptune. Circle environment, huh? You're just talking about these ringed worlds. We're just talking Uranus. Uranus, man. Uranus? Or Uranus, you know, that part is up to you. We're going to do some wave surfing, man, as we get ready to get out of here, man. Fair use in your caboose. We're going to watch a quick vid for the dismount. Love to Nas confounding so you can get some more visuals. Fair use, copyright, such and such, man. Uh, 107, 1976, copyright. You know what I'm saying? Dodger on hijack. Fair use in your caboose. You know what I'm saying? Um, love to the bro H. Sith, who, you know, reminded us, man, about this great archive by David Rumsey. And this map right here, man, that shows you, you know, America, the Earth. But where's Antarctica? They got Antarctica surrounding it. So <laughs> it's not just Nas confunding, right? These are, this is an old map by David Rumsey. David Rumsey got a gang of very accurate maps. You know, I'll leave this archive for you. Yeah, this is a David Rumsey collection, man. 100,000 plus, I mean, it's popping off. We got to dig on the standard oil, man. This is that's some pretty deep stuff. I mean, David Rumsey popping off, so why wouldn't he be popping off on this, you know, uh, map right here showing that there is a barrier and you see that there is openings to it, just like Antarctica. So this is Antarctica, but look how detailed <laughs> he made it. You see the openings of what would be the ice wall, except it's just land. That's why they said it's artificial ice. My knock in. Whoa. Wait a minute. Whoa. Remember we got this? Can we get this bigger? 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 <laughs> oh, look out for us, man. 
that. Who's this nigga here, man? Outside the wall, man. <laughs> Just hide now, wait for you to spot him. Hey, we got this before. We got a real clear shot of it. And it says, Prester John. Prester John. And I said, they got Prester John. Just go, you know, get that drop. We got it in the Prester packs. Uh, you know, the whole map drop, map packs. Preston John. <laughs> they got a noggin outside the wall. Ain't that something? <sighs> yeah, man. And to get to this noggin, you're going to have to get out these this barrier. Now, they got this noggin located under what would be Africa, right? <laughs> but you're talking about Con David, who's controlling these vortexes, man. See, this is South America. You know, they got somebody else's this hijack outside of here. This, this must be thought in there. This must be thought the moving island they they rolling up on. <clears throat> but you see these uh hey, no cap on Antarctica's chest. You don't see no uh ice, right? So something must have happened recently, maybe in the last five hundred years that made some artificial ice situation, but before that, ain't no ice <laughs> on Antarctica's chest bone, no cap, man. And outside of this barrier, <laughs> you got more worlds beyond the pole. You know what I mean? You can get in the drop library, always surf the wave, and, you know, get cozy. Templar still popping off. <laughs> And hey, just enjoy the flow. Love the Aqua Tide battle, the record keeper. We got so much more drop to add to it. Be patient with us. You know, it's just, we build it. You know, if you see it, you see it. We build it. And, you know, it's a steady climb over here. So we just not getting back to <clears throat> where we good at. You know, the website, the flow, the stream, and just, you know, making it what it needs to be. You know, just enjoying the flow. No rush. You don't got to rush it when you got it, you know. And these Nagas in Nagaville got it, you know what I mean? So all these are just free books for you. Love to let us find the truth. Popped off the original library that sparked off <coughs> our library. We said, let's have multiple libraries. Let's everybody have a library in case links get taken down and websites get taken down. You know, we got a library, we got a wave to surf, we got so many of these books to, to dig on it. We got a lot of flat drop in here, we got a lot more to add. But, you know, I was just thinking right quick about that. Worlds beyond the poles. Bang. F, I'm a deal, Giannini. F, I'm a deal, Giannini. This belly flopping chapter two, and we're gonna get this video for the dismount. I gotta get a piece of this, man. He's he's showing stratosphere, high level experimentation. Showing that everything is connected. The sky, the water, <laughs> the earth, everything's connected. The following pages contain the first and only description. Only description. Only description of the realistic universe of land, water, oxygen, and vegetation where human and other forms of animal life abound. This is not a work of fiction, nor is it a te technical analysis of anything. It is a simple recital of fact, which transcends the most elaborate fiction ever conceived. It is diametrically opposed to the assumptions and the mathematical conclusions of theorists and technicians throughout the ages. Because the globe theory is a theory. The theory of gravity is a theory, not a law. But we talking truth. These pages is, describe the physical land routes, just like Nas Confounding is showing. This is a separate researcher popping off in the 1920s, my nag. These pages, this recon from the 1920s, describes the physical land routes from the earth to every land area of the universe about us. 
just like Nas can fun in this show. Physical land routes, physical land routes from the earth you know to every land area, every world beyond the pole of the universe, which is all land. I know you've been told differently. I need you to readjust your mind bone, get out the mind of a hijack, get out of hijack city. It's all land. Not outer space, more land, more water. Such routes extend from beyond the North Pole and South Pole, so-called ends of the Earth. As decreed by the theory, it will be here, it will, it will here be adequately shown that there are no northern or southern limits to the Earth. It will thereby be shown where movement straight ahead from the pole points and on the same level, you're not going up, you're going level, you're going straight ahead, same level as the earth permits movement into celestial land. You wanna to get to heaven, <laughs> you wanna to get to the heavens, they appear up or out, but what are they? Straight ahead. Same level, level is straight, is up. To get to the celestial land, you gotta go straight ahead from the pole points. You wanna get to all that, them stars? <laughs> you wanna get to, to, to all them planets? You gotta go on, on the same level as the Earth permits of movement into celestial land areas appearing up. I know it sounds crazy, but so does a ball spinning at a thousand miles per hour. And don't, jo don't Joshua in the script, don't Joshua make the sun stand still? How can he do that if he's spinning at a thousand miles per hour? So it's Hawaii liar. Joshua can't make the sun stand still while he's traveling at 67,000 miles per hour, spinning at 1,000 mile, miles per hour on Earth, chasing a sun that's going 100 and something thousand miles per hour. And how does he make the sun stand still? It's traveling at over 100,000 miles per hour. Unless Joshua is not spinning. The sun is doing a circuit around Joshua. And the sun realizes that it's created for Joshua. Same level. <laughs> An original treatise basic to this book was written and has been expounded at American universities in 1927. What I say, the 20s to 1930. Since then, the U.S. Naval Research Bureau and the U.S. Navy's exploratory forces have conclusively confirmed the work's principal features since December 1928, December 12. U.S. Navy polar expeditions have determined the existence of indeterminable land so much that it is indeterminable. They cannot determine how much land is beyond the poles? How many worlds, right? Indeterminable land extend beyond both pole points. So whether you go in so-called north or so-called south, out of bounds, out of bounds, outer space, out of bounds of the assumed isolated globe, Earth as postulated by the Copernican theory postulated, hijacked by this hijack of Pernicus in 1543, after they hijacked you and me, after they found us in a new world, boss. But this is Nagaville on January 13th, 1956, as this book was being prepared. Listen to the recon. As this book was being prepared in 1956, a U.S. Naval Air Unit penetrated the extent of 2,300 miles 
beyond the South Pole, my 2,300 miles, the U.S. Naval, the U.S. Navy went. 2,300 miles, the U.S. Navy went in 1956 on January 13th. 2,300 miles beyond what they call the South Pole, man. They didn't pop on to the other side of the ball. They found new land that doesn't fit on the ball. They don't want to make their ball no bigger to fit no new land, which lets you know that they're hiding something. They're pushing that land outside of the barrier. They're calling it outer space. You think you got to be an astronaut to get to it. All you need is a boat or all you need is a plane. And we know that they're guarding it with the Antarctic Treaty. We know they're guarding the wall like the Game of Thrones. So it's all good. Hawaii's going to uh, make it all right again. Ain't no more artificial. Ain't no more hijack. Their time is over, which is why the Naga's becoming aware again. We're going to melt that ice with our mind bone. We're going to warm up. We're going to heat up this place by keeping the cold. Watch, my Naga. Witness, my Naga. U.S. Naval Air Unit penetrated to the extent of 2,300 miles beyond the assumed South Pole end of the Earth. That flight was always over land. <laughs> they didn't go to outer space. They stayed over land, water, and ice to find new worlds. For very substantial reasons, the memorable flight received negligible press notice. It was swept under the rug. They couldn't tell you they had new worlds 2,300 miles away. The United States and more than 30 other nations prepared unprecedented polar ex expeditions after that, man. 1957 and 58 to penetrate land now proved to to extend without limit beyond the pole points. My original disclosure of the then unknown land beyond the poles in 1926-27 was captioned by the press as more daring than anything Jules Verne's ever conceived. Today, 30 years later, the United States, Russia, Argentina and other nations have bases on that realistic land extent, which is beyond the earth. It doesn't fit on your ball. It's not on your map. It is not space, as theory dictated. It is land, water of the same order that comprise known earth territory. Same land, my naga, same water. You don't have to take, you know, have to breathe in some different you know, maybe the air is pure. Maybe, you know, I don't know what the air is like. <laughs> but I would assume it's pure air, pure water, and pure land. <laughs> We're just talking about worlds beyond the poles. We're talking Admiral Byrd. Remember that interview? He said he found more land the size of America. Where there was more gold and everything. More minerals. Everybody's going to be fighting over it, this South Pole, this North Pole. And look at it, man. They're making confederacies again, treaties again. They, they were called the custodians by Nas Confounding. <laughs> they were called the custodians, right? Guarding this wall like the Game of Thrones, turning it into ice, right? <laughs> Come on, man. They were called custodians over here, right? <laughs> yeah, man, the custodial domain. They're guarding the wall. Look up the Antarctic Treaty and get back to me, man. Are they visiting planets? Are we talking planes? Flat. Spread out. More land. More water. Of the same order. As the known earth. So. <laughs> Elon's doing a lot man.
Elon got a new robot coming out. You're doing a lot, Elon. Huh? You're bringing Tesla robots? Tesla Optimus Prime robots? Everybody going to own them a robot soon, huh? In 2023. Well, the aqua time, man. I mean, it's a lot happening with this Elon going to Uranus, man. But uh, <laughs> for the dismount, let's dig on this Nas confounding drop. Go ahead and dig on it, man, and enjoy the recon and see how it matches up with other researchers like Anatoly for the man go. Who's breaking it all the way down? Physical land routes, my nigga. From Earth to every land area of the universe. That's what Anatoly Fermenko say. What does Nas Confundin say? We're putting the recon together. Allow fair use in your caboose. This is reality. It is truth is stranger than any fiction the world has known. There is no physical end to the Earth's northern and southern extent. The Earth merged with land areas of the universe about us that exist. This is Lumen, the first device for hacking your metabolism. With just right, one breath, Jack Lumen City. tells you what you're currently breathing. Jack City, let's go. Exists straight ahead beyond the North Pole and the South Pole point of theory. There you go. 1927, August. If it is so, the world we know of it. William Cardinal O'Connell. 1928, July. Giannini, since words cannot confirm you, words cannot deny you. It is your work, and only you can give it. Dr. Robert Andrew Millikan. Giannini, if you prove your concept, it will establish the most complete physical continuity in the history of man. Professor Jerome Ricard. Gone in July. Yeah, that world's beyond the pole author is F. Amadeo Giannini. I keep saying for the Manco, we're going to get in that chronology real soon and bring it all together, man. The memorable December 12th discovery of unknown land beyond the South Pole by Captain Sir George Hubert Wilkins demands that science change the concept it has held for the past 400 years concerning the southern contour of the earth, mm. Drumbrova, Russian explorer. Mm. 1947, February, I'd like to see the land beyond the pole. That area beyond the pole is the center of the great unknown. Admiral Richard Evelyn Burr, USN, before his seven-hour flight over land beyond the North Pole. Bang. 1945, Almirant Richard Evelyn Byrd established satellite base at the South Pole International News Service. November 28th, this is the most important expedition in the history of the world. Admiral Byrd, before departing to explore land beyond the South Pole. 1956, on January 13th, members of the United States expedition accomplished a flight of 2,700 miles from the base at McMurdo Sound, which is 400 miles west of the South Pole, and penetrated a land extent of 2,300 miles beyond the pole. Radio announcement confirmed by the press. March 13, the present expedition has opened up a vast new land. Admiral Byrd, after returning from land beyond the South Pole. I mean, 
who's really making all this stuff up, man? You know, the Mercury Ocean, Abyssal Ocean. You know, we know how this plays in religion. Zeus, Zeus, Jesus, Jupiter. You think these hijacks left their gods behind when they went to a new land, or did they take their false gods with them, man? When in the history of Hijackville have the hijacks ever stopped worshiping their idols? So what makes you think they came over here from wherever, Europe, wherever you want to call it, that they came to America and left their Jupiter behind, that they left their Zeus? That's never happened, my knock. You need to get out the mind of a hijack. All they did was disguise their Zeus, make it e Zeus. The J was invented. Now you call it Jesus, but it's the same Jupiter that they've been worshiping in the lands of Jupiter, man. M-H-O-E, K-T-C. Surfing the wave in that Mimsa. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Tupac. We found Pac, y'all. Machiavelli. Machiavelli Islands, man. Uh oh, boss. <laughs> we got you, boss. You right outside of Jupiter, though, man. You all right? You all right, Pop? Let's go. <coughs> Found Pop, man. St. Germain. So when they in the... Oh, so this is the land of the hijacks. I mean, for real, for real. This is the land of custodians. So when they do their music industry stuff and they get promises, you know, or they go missing, do they sometimes just jet out and just go to another land beyond the pole? What y'all think? You think Pac is letting you know, hey, I got an island, man. <laughs> Catch me in the Machiavelli Islands, man. <laughs> we surfing away. Ocean of death. Oh. So they die, right? Or fake a death <laughs> and end up in the mock. Oh, well, we solving the riddle pot. We here, man. <laughs> Damn. Right in our face, bone. This is T Tierra. Well, let's get it back. This is Tierra Experimentio. So this is the experimenting land. So this is where they do all the experiments. <laughs> this is crack crack. Allow what? You make Joey. Yeah. So happened. ATC, my man. Yeah, it's a land of experiments because it's the land of the clones. Okay, so it's America 2. I thought it was America B, but if I see closely, it's America 2. Looking just like North and South America, right? Land of the clones, man. This is crack crack. Uranus, Elon headed to Uranus, right outside the land of the clones. Okay, we see you, man. Headed to Titania, huh? How you gonna get in there, though? You gotta fly over. I don't see too many openings. 
until you get inside. Probing Uranus. Hey, who got the drop, man? Nah, it's Kofun and got the drop. And that's for real, for real, because he's not just going off his own, you know, flow. He's he's actually, you know what I'm saying, um, doing a lot of recon with the flow of uh, F. Amadeo Giannini that we just read in Lands or Worlds Beyond a Pulse. So he's bringing it together, giving you visuals, man, and really continuing, you know what I'm saying, this, uh, you know, these are big steps, you know, we all got to take. Everyone got to reach these marks and take these steps. You know, a big part of this is just visually being able to imagine, not say, well, how do you know? Well, how do you know? But say, what if? Start saying, what if? Because right now we in the what ifs, man. <laughs> we're not in the trying to prove nothing to you. We don't care what you believe. You know, we're just letting you know, what if? You know what I'm saying? We're reconning and we're surfing away. Flat drop 101. Kundalini, oh man, just as it was getting good, man. <laughs> hey, love to Nas and go ahead and serve the wave if you want more, man. If you want more, man, you know what I mean? We're going to be over here digging on it some more. Love to everyone leaving some great comments. Everybody on IG, XS Strong, XX Strong, XV, Mississippi, Malak, Malaki, Seven Seals have been undone. That dude says, Spaceship has a whole new meaning. Bang. Facts. Uh, the Ahia. J Activist. This is D. I mean, you see that? <laughs> Outer space words are powerful. This is one of my favorite series on YouTube. Flat Drop 101. Hey, we back, man. We popping off. How many Nogs and Jacons out there popping off in other worlds? Love the Z Wavy. Shooter. Firestar Hezekiah lands beyond the Pope. Gerald World, you you still think it's play play? <laughs> a quick great question here. Ethan Bradley left to him. He has a great page as well. He says, Where did all this information come from? I am a firm believer in our flat plane, but these maps I had a hard time uh with because how do we know all this information? Who made these maps, man? So, you know, I just had to link him with the bro, man. Nas Kofunin is doing great work. These maps, more than anything, are expanding our imagination, which is necessary uh, to at least break the spell in Hijack City. The confirmation is up to the individual researcher. It's not up to Nas to make our confirmation for us, you know what I'm saying? You really want to find out, you know, you got, you're you going to have to risk, you know, risk it all for the truth sometimes, man. You know, I'm not suggesting anyone just get a boat and just do their thing. I'm just saying, like, you know, that's what it's going to take, though. You know what I'm saying? So, Aria, Aria, man, like Aria Stark, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, it's beautiful, man. A big savage, what it do. So, it's possible. Is it possible? Columbus and the Moors that led them came from another Earth pocket to us. And once they gained control miseducated us on their origin. Woo-wee. I like the way you thinking, big savage shot. The Nagas is ready for this. You know, we've been dropping this since 2000, you know, 16, 15, flat drop on Facebook and all that. The Nagas in 2022 are becoming aware, man. And a hop to all the Nagas in Nagaville. Hey, hop to all our supporters, man, all the contributors, all the wave surfers, everybody sharing the drop. You know what I'm saying? Please continue to do so. And hey, hop to you, man. Hey, Moops with the boots, man. Shout out to my baby Moops, man. Samuel Shemina, a.k.a. Moops with the boots on Cool Cool. Co. She's doing her thing, man. Moops is doing her thing. Love the baby Moops, man. Always popping off, man. <laughs> hey, hello, wow. We know that the Nagaville flag will always be raising, man. The Drop Nation. We've been, we've been patiently waiting, man. 
you know. Just imagine this popping up on Nagaville, you know, all across the plain. Imagine the Nagas in Nagaville and all the worlds beyond the poles rocking their Nagaville flag, showing the unity of all the Nagas all across the poles. This Nagaville flag is flying high on copper land. I <laughs> love to the aqua, copper color creations and the copper family for making another checkpoint because we are together reactivating our ancient, our ancient tribal land in code with Hawaii. Ah, oh, man, we reactivating the ancient love song. The Nagaville flag is flying, man. Blowing in the wind, man. <laughs> Just blowing in the wind. All praise our creator forever and ever. All praise Hawaii for Nagaville. Blue, purple, red, white, linen, gold thread. Exodus got us in code. For Nagaville. For the tribe, you know what I mean? All across Nagaville, Papa Nog, Dragon Child, you got us in Ko, Alawa. We building, my Nagas. Continue to support. Click the link below to help us build in real time, as you see. Love to Clave, Coach Clay, Five Eyes Mob, building a level fence. Because Nagas build in Nagaville. And Nagas are getting recon <laughs> and the structure to have the recon structure <laughs> and get your reconstruction pack by yourself. And the Bro Nine Spiral featuring Tribal Mafia, man, popping off. Beautiful cassette flow, flash drive, 32. You can get two for 50, you know, pass them out. If you want to bundle, bundle, like, you want 10 of them or 20 of them to pass out, you know what I mean? We'll definitely cut you a great, great flow for that. So, allow a while for you. Get this pack. It's going to have the drop on it. Detox drop as well. Radio shows as well. Whatever else the cons want to put on there. Drop in May 28th. So, pre-order, my nugget. Get the drop. Continue to support Five Eyes Mob with my pack one. And you can now pre-order. Prester Pack 2, available now. And this will have the next 20 Prester Johns on them. So it'll be Prester, I think, what, 61 or 62 through. Yeah, 61 was on Prester Pack 1. 1 through 61 is all on Prester Pack 1. So if you ain't got that, get Prester Pack 1 right here in the drop shop as well. You know what I'm saying? Just scroll on down and get the Prester Pack 1. 32 gigabytes jam pack with 60, 61 installments of the Preston John or the Noble Ethiopian video series, over 102, 120 hours of King David recon, plus the books, the maps, the recon links, everything we can put on these flash drives, my nigga, because we popping off for Drop Nation, man. So, yeah, all I'm saying is, so that was uh, 1 through 61. So, 62 through 83 would be on. The Presta Pack 2. 20 more full Presta John videos, links, and everything to go with those drops, man. Right here in your face, bone. And you know what's dope? Shout out to my Aqua Tracy Lay. I can't even explain how dope this is, man. She went through all the drop. I mean, all the drop. <laughs> That we dropped since 2016 on YouTube, got all the links and made personal PDFs of everything that was still there that they didn't destroy. <laughs> all the links she could find and much, much more she put, you know, and gave me my own personal. It's like a super, a super ether, a super ether pack. And I'm going to go ahead and include that in your press the pack too. And this, let me tell you, this is the drop of drops. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Like, this has everything. The Enlightenment of the World. This is all flat drop. Zetetic Astronomy, Little America by Richard Burr, Flatter Conspiracy, Earth is Round, Isaac Asimov, and on and on. The Earth, the Plane, 100 Proofs the Earth is Not a Globe. That's by, that's the one dropped on William Christensen, 200 Proofs. I mean, by William Christensen, 
on John Hopkins University. 200 proves the earth is not uh, earth is not a spinning ball. This is Eric DeBay, I believe. NASA derivation and definition. Everything, my nugget. She has everything. Strong's recording this is that the Hawa drop. Letting you know how we got here, man. Like she went through all the links. My nugget. This is what I'm gonna do. Maps, links, everything. She got everything. She got everything. <laughs> she got everything. All the Preston John drops, selling of Joseph, the syphilis flow, silence of files, emerald tablets. Oh my god. Tracy, Aqua Tracy, this is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you found and, you know, you found everything, everything and more, anything, anything we missed and more. So I'm glad to have it and to be able to include it on Press the Pack too. I mean, she got everything. She got everything. And she didn't stop there. I mean, four, three, two. Hurts and from uh, she's just popping on Hindu Kush. Aqua got everything. You see it. Oh, we're gonna get back on that Daniel El Coon. She got everything. <laughs> I get so excited, man, because we did so much work throughout the years, man, and it is a time capsule and it should be always kept, you know what I'm saying? So to know that we got all the drop and so much more by the Aqua, Tracy led. She got, she put her own sauce, her own uh, mem sauce in the flow. I mean, we got separate tabs just dealing with America, American Holocaust, David Standard Drive. All these are books, man. Dealing with the Aborigines, Indigenous Flow, 500 Nations, Paradise Found, just digging on America. amazing then she got the teaching aids we're going to apply a lot of this to the frequency of learning look out for it next time we'll talk more about that our music therapy program in 432 hertz for the homeschool community which also is going to include a great curriculum to flow with and a lot of fun for the children brain activation games and playlists tune to 432 hertz so look out for the frequency of learning but she's dropping curriculum packs already Already, T Matrix Systems, my nugget. Already, <clears throat> I saw it happen, man. I can't even talk no more, man. Aqua Tracy, like this is the Moroccan American treaties of pieces and friendships. America's been at war 93% of the time, all kind of versions of the PDF, and a bunch of great, you know, uh, actual photos man of a lot of drop too so she got a lot of photo look at all this photo drop pdfs and oh man this is crazy it's madness this is madness <laughs> aqua you really did it. and then she got a whole separate tab for hebrew research oh man oh, wow going crazy going crazy okay so that must be a part of this other one here that's a part of the four through two links so all this drop is included in your press to pack too. The Hebrew drop, the vibration drop, the press to drop, all the drop, the flat drop, <coughs> all the drop. All right, y'all, I, I got to get back to the drop, man. Back to the droplets. <laughs> back to daddy daycare, man. They, I guess they want their flapjacks. I guess they want their pancakes, man, but... <laughs> We're going to keep letting the Nagaville flag ride for Copperland, for Naga Hill, for all the Nagas in Joy World and Nagaville. Allow Hawa to you. Keep flying, my Nagas. Keep flying. Get the drop and just continue, you know, to do exactly what you're doing, man. It's Elon <laughs> probing Uranus, man. <laughs> Or more worlds beyond the poles and flat spread out worlds beyond the poles, man. Yeah. Love to Nazca Funin. Love to G and Nini. You know what I'm saying? And you know, always surf the wave. 
in the Drive Library, where we got this world's beyond the poles from. Oh, we got Lost Tries and Promised Land. It's one of my favorites. We will be back in this OASPI. I think we're ready now. I think we're ready. Forbidden History is one of our favorite recon sources. It's all happening, man. We got all the uh, Anatoly for the Mango books. Ooh, we're talking chronology. Hey, we out of here, baby. We out of here, baby. So much drop happening at 432thedrop.com, 432thedrop radio, protected drop library. Managa, you are firm, fixed, and immovable on physical land routes to every land area of the universe. We stay firm, we stay fixed, we stay immovable. We suit up, we choose up, and we always, Managa, are going to tribe up for Nagaville. Like I said, get in the flow, get your packs, and support the fans, support the Nagas that's doing it for the tribe, the tribe of music so that we can build our land. You know what I'm saying? Come in here, you can do a uh, a shopping cart, get you some of these uh, reconstruction packs, some mob packs, and pre-order some Presta packs, man, and get all that drop from the Aqua Tracy Lett, man, who gave us the drop a drop. And we're going to put that on the Presta pack, too. To surf the wave with us and continue your support. Congrats, Yosef and Nine Spiral for the reconstruction pack. Get it today. Pre order immediately, my Naga, because we are popping off as a tribe. This goes into the pockets of the Nagas to build their homes, to build their communities, to build for Nagaville. Shalawan. Shabbat Shalawan.